Hi, my loves. Welcome back to the Stars Cartel channel. If you don't know, I am Star. The message I heard is, keep your voice, he's mocking me. The scripture comes from Song of Songs 8 and 11. Solomon had a vineyard at, at Baal Hammon. He gave over the vineyard to caretakers. For his fruit would have to pay a thousand silver pieces. My vineyard is at my own disposal. The thousand pieces are for you. O Solomon and 200 for the caretakers of its fruit. So here's what God is saying. Okay. For someone, God is saying that you should not be silent. Okay. This is a situation where for somebody, for somebody, for somebody, for somebody, the vineyard is representative. It's like God is saying this vineyard is being representative of you. Okay. And there is somebody that is trying to um, place you under the care of someone else. So this is kind of giving me like reminiscent of, um, like, let's say a man, you fall in love with this man, you become one with this man, and then he decides that he doesn't want to be with you anymore. And instead of him outright telling you, I don't want to be with you anymore, he tells his friends, hey, I need you to watch her for me. Or I need her to hang out with you. Or you should, like, take her from me. Like, this person is basically... Instead of them breaking off the relationship and allowing the woman to go on about her business like a normal person, this man has decided, okay, this counterfeit has decided that he is going to ask his friends to start hollering at somebody for somebody. Y'all, you don't think it weird or strange if your man's best friends or close friends or whoever start trying to holler at you and trying to talk to you. This is a plan that this person has created, okay? For its fruit, one would have to pay a thousand silver pieces. This is somebody that wants to sell a woman. And the way that they are trying, they're trying to do this in a very sneaky way. They're trying to do it in a way where it won't look like they did anything wrong. So the first step that they take is to make a woman fall in love with them. The second step that they would take is for their friends to start hitting on this woman. And if this woman reacts positively to their friends, then the friends, it'll be like, It'll be like a situation, first of all, okay, God telling me two things at once, okay? First of all, it'll be a situation where if you are deeply devoted to God and you are avoiding sin, you won't end up in this snare. Second of all, this is a situation where these friends would turn around and they would go back to this man and, you know, they would make a scene about it. This would happen in front of the woman. This is something that would be done very... um. This is very manipulative and it is something that is planned out. This is a deploy, okay? They will go and say, oh yeah, I had such and such. Yeah, she let me and she did this and da, 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 da. To make the woman seem like, you know, and, and in reality, like I said, in the, the, the first thing that God said, if a woman is sticking by his word and she is sticking by what God says and what you know, you know, when God is not... It is not okay to have these multi-party relationships. God is not calling us to have um, an open relationship. God is not calling us to be swingers and all this other crazy stuff that's going on in the world today. And technically, adultery, okay? It's not okay in God's book. And if you are the kind of person where you are faithful and you are not doing these kind of things, you don't have to worry about this. You don't have to worry about falling into this trap. But if you are the kind of person where you would end up taking a bait, you know, you would end up falling into this trap. And then this, like they plan on putting this woman on blast. And, um, you know, after this woman is put on blast, then they will be forcefully forcing her to do things that she didn't intend to do. This man may also do this in a sense where, once again, he makes this woman fall in love with him and he love bombs her and then he takes all that love away and he starts treating her as if she doesn't matter and he starts treating her as if he doesn't care. He doesn't want to talk to her anymore. He wants to make her feel as though 
the relationship doesn't matter to him and he doesn't care. And he's doing this once again. This is very tactical. This is manipulative and it's done on purpose. And it's done in an attempt so that this woman will start seeking that affection. But in his mind, you know, with the plans, the woman is so in love with him. She's so in love with him that she doesn't want to end the relationship. So once this is somebody that is very good at this, they are very good at making women fall in love. They are very good in getting women attached. And then when they are tired of dealing with the woman, instead of them breaking off the relationship like normal people, instead of them telling her, look, I don't feel like this is working out like normal people, they instead will try to do something like do this little ploy to make it the woman's fault. But God says, when you are so closely knit to him, you will not take the bait of this. Regardless to if you are the one that will start watching this person and noticing that this person is cheating on you, because nine out of 10, they are. Okay, nine out of 10, this is somebody that got something else going on. Okay, they didn't move on to the next person and while in waiting for whoever this woman is to cheat. Okay, so if you are not cheating and you're not the kind of person to cheat, if you have the mindset where you are kind of like, you know, I'm not a cheater um, because God already told us that's not a, that's not what's up. So if you are not a cheater and you're not the person that, you know, when you are not receiving something in your relationship, you start seeking it elsewhere. And you're the kind of person that, you know, if it's not working, it's not working. If it's not working, you know, like you're dating someone and it's not working, it's not working. If you're married to someone, you're going to try, try to figure out, okay, who is my husband cheating on me with? Who is my husband having an affair with? Because something got to be going on and you find out, okay? And then you are free from that, okay, or God whispers in your ear and tells you, or God sends you a dream and shows you, regardless, you will know that you are freed from that marriage, you are freed from those shackles, you are freed from that bond, and you leave that relationship, and you know, you know, like, as I've already said, I'm not interested in being with my ex's friends, I don't want them. Why would I do that? That is like, no, 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 no. For what? No, thank you. No, I, I can find like, you know, it's been everywhere. Why would I want to date somebody in my ex's friend circle? Uh-uh. I'm good on that. Okay. And you know, it's just, I, I just always had that the, the mental understanding and the common knowledge that if you are, you know, if you're dating someone and they have all these friends around and, you know, you may get to know their friends and all that, but why would you want to be with them? You know, it, that will put you in a position to where you are forced either to be around your ex or to constantly like that. Like, why would I put myself in a position to where I may end up having to hang out with my ex and a new person? I'm good on that. I don't want to be in that position. I don't even want to be around my ex's friends anymore, especially if this person did something like this and was cheating on me because not out of 10, they knew I don't trust them. And, and uh, you know, birds of a feather flock together. Why in the world, if my ex turned out to be a dog, why would I want to jump from one dog to another? And it's also very smart to peep things, okay? And, and you know, peep the people that they hang around with because this person... I feel like this is somebody that tries to overshadow their bad side. This is someone that tries to act as if they're this good person. They're very sweet. They're very kind. They're very generous. They're doing all of these wonderful things, and they're just such a good person. And God is saying deep in their hearts, they are not. Deep in their hearts, this person is just as much of a dog as their friends are, but they try to cover it up and hide it. This is someone that may go about talking down on all the their exes, all of the women they used to be with, all the women they used to date, and making it seem like these women were just so awful, and these women were just so horrible, and they did all these awful things, but they leave out what they did to make them that way. They leave that part out. And you know, I, I, I have came on here and talked about having to deal with women standing outside my, win my, win my window screaming and yelling and all that. But don't think that I don't put the blame on the man because ain't no woman. I, I like, I just know I won't. I won't scream and yell out the window regardless. You, you will not, I, I'm not going to do it. 
You you can let that go. You can let that go. That is a dream, baby. Okay, if you think that star will take out the time, effort, and energy to scream outside anybody's window, you crazy. If you think that I would ever waste my time, my time chasing after some man, I, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. And this is a man that is not taking his accountability for what he's done. This is a man that doesn't care to take accountability for his actions. However, in reality, this man is at fault. And um, it's just like some women, like some men are always yelling about, oh, I want you to be my peace. I want you to be my peace. I want you to be my peace. How can I possibly be your peace if you're driving me crazy? How? 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 You are trying to, like, this is somebody that wants to make women lose it so that he could get them to a place, so that he could get them to this position to where he has authority over them. He wants to, and he has to, he has to have this good guy persona. He wants to look like he is the good guy in this situation. He wants to look like he's the good guy in this narrative. But God says this person is not a good person in any shape, form, or fashion. Like, um, no, no, I'm good. I don't want your friends, sir. I'm not interested in your friends. Why in the world? If you like, uh, no, no, thank you. Pineapples. It's men everywhere. Why would I do that? I'm good on that. And, you know, I, I like, I'm good on that. And, you know, that some men act as if they're, it's impossible to find a woman that is simply not so lustful and that is simply not so, um, how do you say, um, attention seeking? That they need to have all the men's attention on them. I don't care about that. I, I'm, I'm worried about my person. It's my person acting right. I don't have time to be worried about what everybody else is doing. They don't have nothing to do with me. They don't have nothing to do with me. I don't need to know that such and such likes me or not. I don't care. I don't care if such and such think this, that, and the third about me. I really am unconcerned. I don't care. No, I'm not interested in them. No, I'm not worried about them. And this man is somebody that really thinks that they are going to be able to dangle you in like this. They really think that they are going to be able to switch the scenario around on you like this. But as for me... A man that I'm with, and this happened to me before, and they friends try to um do something. They try to pull one on me. They trying to talk to me or they trying to sweet talk me, trying to lure me in or trying to act as if they trying to touch on me. Babe, you need to come get your friend. You need to come get your friend. And I don't want him around me no more. Period. That part. Don't bring him around me no more because I'm not interested in him. I I'm married or I'm in a relationship and I'm good. I don't want them. And I just feel like God is saying that this person is thinking that they're going to be able to pull one on you. This person is thinking that you are just such a thought. Are they thinking that you this way? They, they, they have this persona that they have attached to you. They have this false perception of you. And God is saying that that perception is not you. And you know, as long as you are following God's guidelines, these kind of traps you will not fall in. These kind of traps cannot capture you. These kind of traps you will not slip in. And that's the message, y'all. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe.